Digital Romance TV. Hey folks, it's Michael Fiore from DigitalRomance.tv along with Nora and today's video is... The three signs he's not right for you. The three big signs he's not right for you. Or as, as, bing, ben, bing, bing. Uh, as, as ben the producer said, if he's your dad, he's not right for you. But Gross. Gross. Really disgusting. Ben. Gross. Disgusting. Ben, you're disgusting. Someday we're going to make you get on camera and say Ew. that to the um, We do get this all the time where women are kind of confused about like, okay, I like this about him. I don't like this about him. Should I stay or should I go? Is should he the I right kind of guy? So Nora, what are your three top signs that a man well, these are not right. mine, but I will say these are the ones that came to mind. Yeah, okay. Um, I think that uh, sexual incompatibility. What does that mean? Well, <clears throat> uh, it can be frequency, mm -hmm. like your appetite is much more than his, his mm -hmm. is more than yours, yep. and you can't find a middle ground that makes everybody happy. Levels of kink. Levels of kink is yep. another one. Yep. If he's constantly asking you to do things that make you uncomfortable. Just to go on, um, we'll or, just go on record for that one, actually. We do have women that write in and say, my boyfriend wants me to sleep with all of his friends. What should I do? And the answer is, don't sleep with all his friends unless you actually want to. And he's not your boyfriend, he's your pimp? Yeah, well, he might be. No, I don't think he was getting paid. I think he was just um, Yeah, what else we got? Uh, he doesn't respect your opinions yeah. and or job, goals, yeah. whatever it is. Um, well, if he doesn't respect, if he doesn't you, in respect general, you in general. Right? If he doesn't, if you can't have a conversation with a guy, if he's always the being the one, basically if you feel like a 1950s housewife around him, yeah. he's probably not the right guy for you, uh, unless that's what you really are going for as a guy to basically make all the decisions and take care of you. But a lack of respect goes, I mean, and that comes down to the bedroom, that comes to everywhere. Yeah. You know, if he's constantly asking you to do things that make you uncomfortable, Re you know, like the same thing repeatedly and you say no when he keeps trying to get you to do this obviously not the right guy not the you. right guy for you and the final one is the big one i think i uh, think having different goals um different ideas of where you want to live different ideas but whether you want to get married or not kids kids these these things have to be in line and if they're not that's that's a big one and we do get people that write in and say well they're going to say well how do i know what his goals are you talk to him <laughs> You ask him about himself and what he w sees himself doing in five years, where he yeah. sees himself being, what he's... Yeah. Ten years. Talk, people. I know, it's hard. What are you doing? Um, we do have, you know, we, in our, another video we did about how do you know if... Uh, how long should you wait for a guy to ask you to marry him, marry you? And we were like, well, do you know if he actually wants to get married or not? You got to have these conversations. Like, you know, having a relationship means having... Not on the first date. No. But you do get to these conversations. This is part of the dating process, yeah. part of the working towards having a committed relationship. You don't just sleep, meet somebody, sleep with somebody, decide you're boyfriend and girlfriend and you're going to be together forever, mm -hmm. no. even doesn't, though the chemicals tell you that's what you should feel. You have work. to have conversations and yes. be adult and have... And if a man does ask you to marry him on your very first date, run. Yeah. That also means he's not right for you. Yeah, unless that that's what you want, and then for God's sakes, fine, he's whatever. Moving, moving you guys deserve quickly. each other. Moving too quickly, but really, it all just comes down to um, you to know if somebody's right for you. You have to know what you want yeah. in your life. Yes, you have to have an understanding of who you are and what you're trying to accomplish in your life. Where do you personally want to be? Do you want kids? Do you want a career? Do you want to travel or and not travel? If you can't have that conversation with yourself, perhaps you're not ready for a relationship. Maybe you're not really ready for a relationship with yourself. Either. Right. Well, mm. Mm. Yeah. Um, if you, you want to know how to make a man fall in love. With you so you can have that wonderful life that you've always wanted go check out the video at the link that you're going to see right here it's called three steps to make a man love you and it shows you the three things you have to accomplish with a man to make him choose to be with you because as i said in many of our things unless he chooses to commit he's never actually committed fact and you can also get more videos like this at digitalromance.tv and please click the subscribe button that's somewhere on this page i don't know where YouTube. it is YouTube. Subscribe to this channel. Yes, on YouTube. And uh, we'll be back more later with more videos. Bye-bye.